The importance of household water treatment is that there are so many children dying still of diarrhea diseases from waterborne reasons that uh, it is important that people treat their water in the house because water that has been proven can also be contaminated on the way home or during consumption. There are several devices that are suitable to do this, filters, chlorination, etc. I think the traditional approach has failed because we have not reached scale. Why did we not reach scale? Is because we considered the dissemination of uh, household water treatment system as something that needs to be subsidized, that is given free to the poor, often only during emergencies, and it is not, it has not been marketed. There are so many products which people desire, and we need to create desire for this product. Now, sometimes this needs also a good social marketing uh, that positions the products as uh, desirable, aspirational, but also that exercises some pressure on people to use these systems. I think we need a new paradigm. If uh, household water treatment systems are aspirational, if people see the value, they are willing to pay. Of course, it must be affordable. Subsidies should still be given, but it's much better to invest this in financing systems like uh, microfinance systems or in good social marketing campaigns than in subsidizing the products. I think uh, the products should be priced affordably in, in an affordable way. And for example, a filter, and this is our experience in one of our projects, if the filter looks nice, people are willing to pay more, provided they get credit for it. Uh, but nobody wants a product that is designed for the poor. We all want aspirational products, but we need to get systems how we can afford it. The mobile phone has solved this problem. You can pay uh, prepaid cards for 10 rupees, 20 rupees, or whatever it is. So this is also the reason why it has really gone to scale and everybody wants a mobile phone. We must arrive at the situation where everybody wants a household water filter or chlorinate uh, the water in the house or treat the water or, or buys uh, treated water. In order to go to scale, it is important that it is a business because only a business is uh, able to deliver the goods to the last mile, and this is very challenging and costly, sustainably. If, and, and for that, if I say business, then some people think, oh, no, that is unethical, etc. But, you know, I can give you an example. In Spring Health, the project that Paul Pollack has introduced in uh, Odessa in India, there is a home delivery system. A bicycle man goes from house to house and delivers these cherry cans at a very reasonable price, four rupees for 10 liters, at home, at your door. Now, it is evident that he must make a business out of this. If he doesn't make at least 100 rupees, and the fee is, hundred, uh, is one rupee per cherry can, then he will not do it. Who would uh, drive around in a village on a dusty road on a bicycle if he doesn't make money? So the challenge is, and it was solved, this uh, challenge, there was a solution found, if he can sell 100 cherry cans a day, then he will do it, and then the people have a very good regular service every day. I think we would need a new paradigm where NGOs and governments invest a lot, much more than today, in massive social marketing and awareness campaigns. But let the private sector do the delivery. 
And when I talk about the private sector, I'm not talking about big multinational companies. They can also help. But I think private sector means business with the poor and for the poor, as it is the new uh, theory of the base of the uh, base of the pyramid marketing. Mm. 